This is a PLL parody where you have two pieces that are flip-flopped and you just need to do these for the solve the whole cube. So what, what a PLL parody does, it flips the pieces of, across from each other. So you have two pieces like this. You would you want to flip it a few different ways to get them across from each other and then do this algorithm. So the algorithm we do is, so 2 or 2 means this is 2 or 2. We move this row, this second to right row right here, up twice. And then U2 is just turning the up, up row twice. And then 2 or 2, we do that again. And then now lowercase u2 is when you move the top row twice to the right and then there's two or two do that again and then turn the top row u2 again and then you just turn the top row again you would have this cube. okay guys so this is an OLO parody where this piece is flip-flopped and if that piece wasn't flip-flopped we would have the whole entire cross solved and so what we would do is R U two means R is uh, lowercase R means you turn these two up, and um U two you just do that, and then X it means you look at the bro bottom row like that, and then you have to do R U two again, and then and then after you do that you want to do R U two but the other way, and then you do R prime u2 and then l lowercase l means you bring this row down l, the l row down and then you do u2 and then you would do r again and then u2 r primed in u2 this way then r u2 r u2 r and we would have this piece flipped around and I am going to be putting the algorithm up in the top right there. And if you guys have any question about the algorithm, tell me in the comments below. And if you know an easier way to do that, tell me in the comments below. After we do that, we just do that. We just do the rest of the cube. And then we might come into a PLO parity again, but let's see. Okay, I don't think we're in a PLL parody yet. So then, put the salt sign in the back. And then, yeah. So we have this whole, we saw, okay, we actually did come into a PLL parody where these two have to be flip-flopped. So we can do that again, which is our, 2R2, then U2, then 2R2, then lowercase U2, then 2R2, then lowercase U2. Who would have this whole cube? Okay, guys. That's how you solve the 4x4 four four Rubik's Cube. If you have any questions, tell me in the comments below. And in the next Next video, I'm going to be seeing if I can solve a 5x5 Rubik's Cube without any help. See you in the next video. Bye.